Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome to another five round pub quiz. If you've never played before, really easy to do so, just grab yourself a pen or something to jot your score down with, uh, makes life a bit easier and I'll explain the rest as we go. Uh, so before we get started, as always, I'd like to give a quick shout out to the top three scores from the previous quiz that we did. Uh, some cracking scores as well. Of the single players in joint second place was Ludovica and Chantel, both with 55 out of 60. Great job you two, well done, really impressive. And the winning score once again is Adam with 57 out of 60. Great job, Adam. Brilliant scoring and well done to everybody who played. Yeah, some re really impressive scores. Of the team players, uh, Marky and Suzette, Riccinelli and Aidan and Matty, Aka the Plasterers, all with 56 out of 60. Incredible. Well done, you three teams. Really good. And in second place is Jan and Steve with 57 out of 60. What a team. Uh, brilliant again. Well done. And the winning score, Lee Sumastan, 58 out of 60. A formidable team as always. Great job, you three. There was a lot of new teams this week as well that popped up in the comment section. So a big thank you to all you newbies. I uh, love reading them. Brilliant. And obviously to the regulars. Um, also, if we get uh, an increase of players, I'll probably have to put a tiebreaker in. Uh, as fun as it was to mention uh, three teams for one spot, uh, if it got more, it'd be uh, difficult to fit them all on the screen. So I'll come up with a tiebreaker idea uh, probably for next week's quiz. So, moving on with this week's quiz. As always, it's five rounds. Round one is a picture round. Round two is an entertainment round. Round three this week is a movie round. Round four is a top five round, so I'll explain later. And the final round is a general knowledge round. Uh, so I'll give you the answers after round two, after round four, and after the final round. As always, I hope you enjoy, and best of luck. So round one is the picture round. There are 10 pictures of famous people or places, etc. You'll have 12 seconds for each one. <clears throat> Number one, can you name this TV or movie star? Number two, who is this duo from the world of music? Number three, who is this sports star? Number four, name the historical figure. Number five, which company has this logo? Number six, which famous figure have I melted? Number seven, can you get the name of the song from this image? And if any of you played my music quiz I did yesterday, uh, there's a freebie for you. Number eight, name the city. Number nine, which film is this still from? Number 10, what is this a close up of? So round two is the entertainment round. 10 questions from the world of entertainment. You will have 12 seconds for each one. As always, good luck. Number one, which Irish sing singer won the Eurovision Song Contest twice with the songs Hold Me Now and What's Another Year? Number two, who created the hit cartoon The Simpsons?
Number three. Though not married, the actor Kurt Russell has been in a relationship with which actress since 1983? Number four. Which movie was mistakenly announced to have won the Best Picture Oscar in 2017? Number five. The Phantom of the Opera is set in which city? Number six. Before being replaced in 1962, Pete Best was the drummer for which band? Number seven. In the film Beetlejuice, how many times must you say Beetlejuice for him to appear? Number eight. Satchmo, My Life in New Orleans, is the autobiography of which singer? Number nine. In the 1995 film Batman Forever, who played the Riddler? And the last one, number 10. With four, who holds the record for the most Best Actress Oscars? Catherine Hepburn or Audrey Hepburn? Okay, that's the end of the first two rounds. I will run through the answers and then we'll go straight into round three and four. Let's see how you got on. So the answers for round one, number one, this TV or movie star is Woody Harrelson. Number two, from the world of music. They were too sexy for their shirt. It was Right Said Fred. Number three, the sports star is LeBron James. Number four, the historical figure. That is Anne Frank. Number five, which company has this logo? That is Kappa. Number six, which a famous figure did I melt? That is Ellen DeGeneres. I think they say so now, I'm not sure. I'll call it Ellen. Number seven, did you get the song from the picture? Very good job if you said Robert De Niro's Waiting by Banana Rama. Number eight, uh, did you get the city? It is Shanghai. Number nine, the film from the still, is one of my favorites, is Gladiator. And the last one, number 10. Number 10 is a belt buckle. If you just put belt, give yourself the point. I'm not that mean. And the answers for round two, the entertainment round, which Iris Singer won the Eurovision Song Contest with Hold Me Now and What's Another Year. That was Johnny Logan. Number two, who created the hit cartoon The Simpsons? Matt Gronin or Greening? Gronin, Matt Gronin. Number three, Kurt Russell has been in relationship with which actress since 1983? Well done if you said Goldie Horn. Number four, which movie was mistakenly announced to have won the Best Picture Oscar? Quite embarrassing, it was La La Land. Number five, The Phantom of the Opera is set in, it's set in Paris. Number six, 
Number six, uh, before being replaced in 1962, Pete Best was the drummer for The Beatles. And number seven, in the film Beetlejuice, how many times must you say Beetlejuice for him to appear? You say it three times. Number eight, Satchmo, My Life in New Orleans is the autobiography of Louis Armstrong. Number nine, in the 1995 film Batman Forever, who played the Riddler? It was Jim Carrey. And number 10, with four, who holds the record for the most Best Actress Oscars? It is Catherine Hepburn. Well done if you got that one. I think Audrey's only got one, actually, for uh, Roman Holiday. But... Okay, round three is the movie rounds. Uh, in this round, there are two points available per question, so 20 points up for grabs. You will see emojis or images that relate to the title of a film. You'll get one point if you can name what that film is. And to get the second point, you have to guess what year that film was released. Uh, there's a bit of wiggle room. It's not as difficult as it sounds. You can be two years above or two years below. So, for example... If the film was Jaws, it came out in 1975, but if you said 96 or 97, two years above, or 94, 93, two years below, uh, give yourself the point. Uh, you have 20 seconds for each one. Hope you enjoy, and best of luck.
Okay, round four is the top five round. In this round, there are two questions with five answers available in each. So you get one point for every correct answer, 10 in total. Uh, the way that it works, so say for one of them, I ask you what were the five most populous country in the world? Uh, you can only have five guesses, but you'll get one point for every correct answer that you give. Um, I've given you one minute per question. I think that's enough time. Uh, one's quite difficult, one's a bit easier. So give it your best and uh, good luck. Okay, that's the end of round four. I hope you enjoyed those middle rounds. Um, I guess asking for the year in the film round uh, probably means the scores won't be as high this week, uh, but it adds to the challenge a bit. So uh, yeah, let's see how you scored and then we'll go straight into the final round. So the answers for the movie rounds. Number one, the film was Dirty Harry and the year was 1971. So anywhere between 69 and 73, give yourself the point. Number two. Well done, it's The Wizard of Oz. Well done if you got that one. And the year was 1939, so anywhere between 37 to 41 for the point. Number three, a bit more difficult this one. A very good job if you said Midnight Express. And the year was 78, so at 76 to 80 for that point. Number four, very good job if you said The Day After Tomorrow. And that was released in 2004. So 2002 to 2006 for the second point. Number five. Number five is Rocky. And that was released in 1976. So 74 to 78. Number six. Number six was Deadpool. And that was released in 2016, so uh, 2014 to 18 for the point. Number seven. Number seven is Breakfast at Tiffany's. That is Tiffany Trump, Donald's daughter. And that was released in 1961. So anywhere between 59 to 63 for the second point. This one I think is a bit of a cult, this one. Uh, the Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, one point if you got that. 
Um, that was released in 2005, so 2003 to 2007 for the point. Number nine. This was the play on words, this one. Um, it, here's a Minions, Mini Onions. Uh, might be a bit mean, but I thought that was quite fun to do. And that was released in 2015, so 2013 to 2017 for the second point. And the last one. It was a documentary about McDonald's. It was Super Size Me which was released in 2004. So one point for Super Size Me and another point for any year between 2002 to 2006. So we move on to the answers for the top five round. Excluding Afghanistan and Pakistan, name the five countries in the world that end with the word Stan. There is Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, Turkmenistan and Uzbekistan. That was the difficult one. Well done. Hope it wasn't too painful. And the second one, excluding the current Jill Biden. Who were the who were the last five first ladies of the USA? So there was Melania Trump, Michelle Obama, Laura Bush, Hillary Clinton. And the last one is Barbara Bush. So the final round is the general knowledge round. Uh, 10 questions on general knowledge, 12 seconds for each. Good luck. Number one, how many moons does the planet Mars have? Number two, Montevideo is the capital of which country? Number three, how many minutes is in a game of ice hockey? Number four, Merlot wine originates from which country? Number five, Cafe Terrace at Night is a painting by which artist? Number six, PB is the symbol for which chemical element? Number seven, which southern Italian city is usually credited as the birthplace of pizza? Number eight, who succeeded Tony Blair as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? Number nine, how many months of the year have exactly 31 days in them? And number 10, which Stephen King novel mainly takes place in the fictional Overlook Hotel? So the answers for round five, the general knowledge round, how many moons does the planet Mars have? It has two moons. Number two, Montevideo is the capital of which country? Good job if you said Uruguay. Number three, how many minutes is a game of ice hockey? I think the actual game goes on for hours, but off play it is 60 minutes. Number four, Merlot wine originates from which country? I drink it, but never read the bottle. Apparently it comes from France. Number five, Cafe Terrace at Night is a painting by which artist? 
That is Vincent van Gogh, or Go, Vincent van Gogh or Gogh, I never know which one. Number six, PB is a symbol for which chemical element? That is lead. Number seven, which southern Italian city is the birthplace of the pizza? A big thank you to Naples. Number eight, who succeeded Tony Blair as the Prime Minister of the United Kingdom? I hope everyone from the UK got this one. It was Gordon Brown. An easy man to forgive. Uh, number nine, how many months of the year have exactly 31 days in them? There were seven. There were, there are seven. There still are seven. Sorry. Uh, number 10, which Stephen King novel mainly takes place in the fictional Overlook Hotel? Good job if you said The Shining. So we've reached the end of the quiz. Uh, as always, really big thank you for playing. It really is appreciated. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, those middle rounds again, I, I think possibly the top five as well, made it added to the difficulty of this quiz. Uh, after the scores were so good last week, I thought I'd just raise it up a tiny bit. Uh, so big thank you again. And also, um, if you do want to comment your score, I really do like reading through them. Uh, I'm not fishing for compliments, but every time you do get something nice, it does give you a little boost. So, and I think it helps with the um, algorithm of the video as well. So uh, anyway, so please comment your score or give a like. But thank you again for playing. Have a great weekend. Bye-bye. Um,